Hello and welcome to Feudal Facts Unscripted. This will be the start of a little behind the scenes series I'll be doing after every video or every other video where I basically look at the previous upload and talk about it and my process behind it. Maybe do a little talking about myself too, a little autobiography. So as you can see here, my usual process when it comes to drawing, I start with a simple gray outline. In this case, we're doing the barber surgeon. That little swirly mustache I did just kind of going off of the usual stereotypical barber appearance, but I switched it out for kind of the bushy one, made it feel more medieval commoner vibe, you know? And the as for like his clothes and everything, it is all based off of some artwork that I've seen of barber surgeons. They kind of just dress like normal people. I gave this one an apron for, for all the blood. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he's holding some scissors, holding some little uh, flyers to tear out some people's teeth. He's pretty calm. Of course, as I, I went along the different versions, it became bloodier and bloodier, and he, he subtly gets a little crazier and crazier. I imagine someone who's constantly removing teeth and limbs and cutting hair probably isn't gonna be the most uh, normal person. And if you're curious about the software that I'm using to do this, uh, I'm just using a, a simple Samsung tablet. It's an app, I believe it's called Sketchbook. Got a little pencil icon on an orange background. Nothing too fancy. And uh, I'm kind of just, just doodling with the basics. I, I did go to art school. I didn't do it professionally or anything like that. I just kind of learned how to do the basics of figure drawing, and that's kind of what I'm applying here um, from what you can see as far as start to finish. So I think it turned out pretty good. I mean, assuming you've seen the original dentistry video. Uh, and I guess I should mention, I do, uh, I do a lot of layering, as you can see, and that makes it a lot easier to apply the shadows. I kind of do these simple blue shadows. It gives it a almost a like comic book vibe one of the simple kids cartoons where it looks like they're little paper characters. At least that's what I feel like the, the effect comes to. I could talk a bit more about myself and the inspirations for this channel and why I chose the name Futile Facts. I guess I could say that if in case anyone was curious. Um, before that, let's just see here. As I'm getting into the next drawing, this one, I'll talk a little bit about the design for my character on the on the channel, the little guy that you see with that helmet. So I saw again in some medieval artwork somewhere that they drew chainmail armor with these sort of double lines separated by dotted lines. And I thought that looked kind of cool. It was short and simple. And the helmet itself, I'm always very particular about it. I don't know, I, there's just times where I get it right and times where I don't. But the the look I'm going for, it's uh, something that was seen in early uh, Sicily. They call it the Italo-Norman helm, most places. It was kind of when the Normans came down from uh, Scandinavia. Maybe it was Denmark. I have to double check that. And... Uh, settled in all sorts of places. They went to England, they went to, to, towards East Europe, and a lot of them settled in Italy and ended up going to what was Sicily. So that's where this helmet's from. I do have something like it in real life. It's pretty cool, pretty big and heavy though. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. He's wearing a, a Talon Norman helm and he's got that simple uh, manuscript inspired chainmail armor. And kind of the angle I was going for here was sort of a horror movie vibe. He's stuck sitting in the chair watching the, the shadow of the barber surgeon come forward to do whatever the operation is that he's there for. So that's for the name Futile Facts. Uh, futile, you know, means something that's useless, something that's not very helpful. And it's not that the information I share is necessarily unhelpful, but I just feel like, you know, it's, it's history, it's mythology. It's not something that's going to change your life or... You know, move you forward in in 
any specific way, but at least you learn something. You know, just kind of teaching simple little tidbits. Kind of a knowledge sponge, so that's where the idea comes from, is my knack for learning and retaining random tidbits translates to this channel where I share random tidbits for people to learn, mostly in the realm of history and mythology. And I'd say the reason for that, instead of doing like science or animal facts or something like that, or I don't know, just math, uh, is due to my upbringing. I'm a big gamer. That's pretty apparent through the music I use in these videos and just references I make here and there. So the first games that really got me into gaming were Age of Empires and Age of Mythology. Strategy games, I always like to take my time. I'm not as big into like fast-paced shooters, though so I did dabble in Halo and I did play quite a bit of Destiny growing up, so I'm not, uh, I don't avoid shooters, they're just not my main thing. I like, I like games that have story and, and plot and stuff and uh, open world type things like Elden Ring, but anyways. These RTS games, Age of Empires, Age of Mythology, they were all about history and mythology. And I just really liked learning about them. I remember as a kid going to the public library and getting books about Greek and Egyptian mythology. I remember uh, one of my favorite words of, was Byzantine, because in Age of Empires, that was one of the civilizations. And I just thought the name sounded really cool. I thought Byzantines was really cool. And they're their unique unit, the cataphract, I thought was really interesting. And cataphracts are pretty interesting. They're pretty cool. I could probably do a video where I cover them sometime. They were pretty cool to to learn about. So uh, I guess I'll, I'll talk more about this sort of stuff in the future. I'll kind of see how their reception is. I know that the history videos aren't really as popular as the mythology videos, but I'm kind of hoping that as I start to get more people watching my stuff, not just watching it for the sake of uh, learning about that specific topic, but watching because I'm the one that's posting, that's everyone's goal. I'm hoping that then I can be a little more open in the videos that I make. So next mythology one will be coming eventually, I just want to get these little history videos out first. I like learning about the stuff that's actually happened, not just the folklore and the uh, sort of belief systems, though that's still fun in its own right. But yeah, here's the finished product, the thumbnail. I'm sure you all saw it on the original video, Truth About Medieval Dentistry. You should go check it out. Anyways, thanks for sitting here and listening to me and watching me doodle. If you like this sort of content, like the video, leave a comment so I know I can do it again. And don't forget to subscribe to Feudal Facts. I'll see you guys later.